Okay, everybody. <laughs> this is going to be a little long one here. This is Julie Williams. And I wanted to talk to you today about some of the false and negative sides of people's perception of network marketing. Like whether or not they are scams or pyramids. This is really important for you to hear because... As I said before, you don't know what you don't know. And I love how the Bible says that the people perish from a lack of knowledge. Not knowing something can cost you a lot, sometimes everything. Not knowing the law does not make you exempt from it or mean that you won't pay the price if you break it. So I reiterate, the people perish from a lack of knowledge. This is one of those biblical applications that I see. Every single day, people are perishing financially because they do not know about a wonderful, very affordable, and very easy way that they can survive. Lack of knowledge. Every single one of us could be saved financially if we had true knowledge and the wisdom to make an incredible, an incredibly easy and very inexpensive decision. You know what? I'm changing that. <laughs> inexpensive decision if you choose to do it because it only cost you $18 and you could potentially earn millions, but expensive if you are indecisive and don't decide. So many of us out here are simply believing that other people, I'm sorry, are believing what other, what other people are saying and they're not experiencing it for themselves. Everyone's experiences are going to be as unique as each and every individual person is out there. I'll never forget <laughs> how I had to take my daughter out of public school and put her into a private school. When it came time for her younger brother to go to that same public school, I was afraid to let him go. I was not going to let him go. I was going to immediately put him into the same private school. Well, my very intelligent 14-year-old son told me, Mom, I'm not Leslie. I won't have the same experience that she had. You have to give me a chance. Well, I didn't even know exactly what to say to that <laughs> other than uh, he was right. <laughs> I will absolutely agree that there are certainly deceptive types of so-called businesses out there. But you should learn how to tell the difference so that you can make a smart, informed, and educated decision and not cheat yourself and your precious loved ones out of maybe the best thing that could ever happen to you in your life because you are not doing your due diligence. Do a little homework yourself on your own. So I hope that these tips that I'm about to give you <laughs> will help you to decipher the difference between real and fake. A big, huge waste of time and money. So, I said I wasn't going to make this too long, but it is going to be a little longer. But I hope you find it helpful and interesting, okay? So, let's talk about a scam. A scam, to me, probably the same as to you, is something that's fake and not real. And it was designed specifically to rip you off. A scheme, <laughs> on the other hand, could also be called a scam. Or... It could be representing itself as a business opportunity, but it's really not because it's a scheme to, uh, not because it's a scheme to make some fast money, 
but before you know it, it's no longer around. Um, it may be only around for six months. Maybe it'll last a year, but it more it was just more designed to just make some fast money, but it's not a real business, okay? A pyramid, I love this one a lot, <laughs> a pyramid. So many people say, is that one of those pyramid things? <laughs> and I always want to crack up because they really don't even know what it is. If you ask them what a pyramid is, they don't know. But most people assume that a pyramid is the same thing as a scam or a scheme to deceive you out of money. Okay, basically, people know pyramids is something that is shaped like a triangle and the person at the top gets rich off of all the little people on the bottom. <laughs> well, I hope you won't feel insulted when I share with you that basically every organization or system is a pyramid. I'm talking from the government all the way down to your family is a pyramid. There's always going to be someone at the top who's the head, who's in charge, and then you've got your VPs, your vice presidents, then you've got your executive managers, <clears throat> then you've got your middle managers, then you've got your supervisors, and then you've got your little worker bees. <laughs> That is a pyramid. That's the form and the shape of any organization or system. Okay? Pyramid is another name for an organization or a system. Your church is a pyramid. Okay? So I think you got the point now. To be honest, and this is the first time I'm actually realizing this right now as I'm speaking this, multi-level marketing is really not like that at all actually because <clears throat> excuse me in a good network marketing or multi-level marketing company the person at the bottom or a person in the middle of the organization can make way more money than the person at the top if they want to if they work at it because of the way that the compensation plan is structured and designed to pay. That is the great thing about the newer network marketing companies that exist today. Another thing that gets me um, all the time with people is that they say, I don't want to sell anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry, that just cracks me up. Well, even though the opportunity that I'm in with right now, the Four Corners Alliance Group, you really don't have to sell anything. The irony is, um, the true fact of the matter is that you can't be in business of any kind without selling something. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say what the kids used to say because I'll sound really rude. Uh, duh. <laughs> Not to mention it's way outdated, okay? <laughs> Even if it's just your dynamic, larger-than-life personality and charm, <laughs> you are still selling something. You're selling yourself. No matter what business you're doing, you're selling something, even if it's just yourself. Oftentimes, people will purchase something based on the salesperson and their relationship with that person. But if you own a restaurant or a hardware store, or if you're an Uber driver, you are selling your service or your products out of that store. You have to market and you have to advertise your business or you won't make any money. That's why you go into business. So, in that respect, network marketing is no different than any other business. But, it's a world of difference and is far better than every other business model out there for countless reasons. 
which I'd be happy to talk to you about on the phone, or you can listen to some of my other recordings. There is no other business model that you can invest as little as $18 to start and that can earn you potentially millions of dollars. You probably would never earn millions of dollars driving for Uber or owning a restaurant or a bookstore or a mechanic shop. Not without being a complete slave to your business, working 16 and 18 hour days, six or seven days a week. I know this is getting a little long, but I have one more point to make, and I hope this is going to be helpful to you. One more very important point that I would like to share with you as far as helping you to decipher the difference between something real and something that might be a scam and that just as you would hopefully research any stock that you might be wanting to invest in you would research I would hope its management you'd research the company and the stock that you would be purchasing before you did so you would do your due diligence to the best of your ability before joining any business opportunity okay customer service is vital to me when I join an opportunity one of the very first things I want to know is <laughs> how easy is it going to be to be able to get my questions answered or to get help if there's a problem how reliable are they to getting back to you to helping you to solve your problems are they friendly how about the owner or the CEO? Is he accessible or at least partners or associates of his? Like, like customer service. And that's all that really matters as long as someone who represents the company is accessible and within a reasonable period of time. How old is the company? Has it been around six months or is it just starting? Is it in pre-launch? Believe me, if it's not established, and has not been around a while yet and had a chance um, has it had a chance to work out the bugs the kinks um, if not you could you could be looking at a very unhappy situation until all of those bugs and kinks get worked out if it's a brand new company if they're going to be successful if they're going to be around a while then they're not going to go out of business in six months. They're, they'll still be around a year from now or five years from now once they've gotten all the bugs worked out. Okay? Who's on the management team? That's another thing you would want to know about the partners, their background. Do they have legal representation? Do they have attorneys? That says a lot. An attorney's not going to associate themselves with a scam. Most attorneys would <laughs> okay. <laughs> Most of them would not, I would hope. Would you question the, the stability of a staff member who has prior experience as a Fortune 500 executive? That right there is real credibility. That says a lot about the business model that you should look at to help you to decide so the company that I'm with and very proud to be with the Four Corners Alliance group business opportunity is a real business that costs only $18 to invest in to start up and can potentially earn you millions if you want to earn it you literally can earn some money with this particular opportunity without doing anything, without doing anything at all. But you can earn a fortune if you decide to do more. It's all completely up to you. Thank you so much for your patience and for listening this long. <laughs> and I hope you found it helpful and useful I think you've heard enough, hopefully, to help you to make a smarter decision 
when you decide what company or business or team you want to join to help you to turn your life around. God bless you.